Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about an interesting API known as Google Site Verification API. Now the thing is, why do we actually need this Google Site Verification API? The thing is, there are various Google properties. If you would like to use that, you need to verify your ownership of a particular domain that you owe. And for that particular reason, you need to have a global verification of a property which you currently owing in for that particular reason google site verification api will come handy so let us explore how this is done so just open the google cloud section and you can just click on enable apis and services uh, make sure you have uh, already uh, added a new project if you're unaware of how to create a new project i would recommend uh, looking in my previous API based videos where I have repeatedly explained how you can create your own project uh, Then you can simply search for site verification API. So as you can see, this is a public API which anyone can use So now here are some quick notifications uh, So with the help of the API you can request a site verification token uh, That can be unique to you and which you can use uh, to verify the domain or the list of the websites which you uh, currently is owing now the thing is that google site verification api provides some parameters such as delete get get token insert list and update so all of these parameters provides a particular set of functions for example uh, by using the get parameter this retrieves the most current data of a website by utilizing the insert parameter this verifies the ownership of a particular domain by utilizing the delete you can even unverify if you'd like uh, like to do so and uh, here is a simple example you can simply get your api key and use curl you can put your access key and then run execute and uh, once execute is done that will allow you to choose any of your gmail account so this is one of my gmail account and then uh, if you run the application so this will return a 200 success code for here we have taken one of the example as salamdukan.com so this is uh, one of our client website and as you can see there is two owners like uh, my gmail id my client's gmail id and also the indexing email id which i have generated from the project creation i will once again request you to observe our previous videos you can do that so by doing that once the 200 success code is appeared which means that uh, we are now official owner of a particular google asset at least for this particular domain we are now the owner of that so this is a very simple yet effective technique which you can utilize to uh, verify yourself as an owner or an established business owner for any particular domain thanks for watching